Welcome to Night Prayer with Father Matlack, your evening call to prayer. Pray with us every night, right here on the podcast and in your inbox. Learn more at goodcatholic.com slash night prayer. As we end our day, let's do so in God's presence and begin our night prayer. Jesus Christ, my God, I adore you and thank you for all the grace you have given me this day. I offer you my sleep and all the moments of this night. I place myself and all my loved ones, wherever they may be, in your sacred side and under the mantle of our Blessed Mother. Let your holy angels stand watch and keep us in peace. Amen. Psalm 2 ends with a a very difficult line. It, It invites us to allow ourselves to be chastened, to allow ourselves to go through those difficult situations. And, and why does it do that? Well, I think in the first place, we have to remember there's no sin in wanting to be free from suffering. Uh, it's what we naturally go towards. We want to be in a situation of, of peace uh, so that we can thrive. Uh, but now that we labor under sin and in a fallen world, uh, what we can do is be defeated by those situations of suffering or we can face that suffering. And, and in this, Christ and the saints teach us that facing the suffering head on actually is beneficial to us. The psalm ends with the line, blessed are they who put their trust in, in him, in the Lord. If we have faith, if we have hope and we have trust, it's not because we want necessarily to be free from the suffering It's that we want that, but also that we are willing to believe that what God has in store for us might be better than our own ideas. And that is a giant leap. And if you're feeling some trepidation about making that leap, there's nothing wrong. Welcome to the human race. Welcome to the fallen human race. But what Christ and the saints teach us and what the psalm teaches us, what scripture teaches us, is that in the midst of our sufferings, in the midst of our exiles, that God is perfectly capable of bringing some good out of all of that. And so all we have to do is simply place our hope and our trust in God. And isn't this a difficult but simple prayer that we can say every day? God, I trust in you. I trust that your ideas are somehow greater than mine. And, And therefore, I put you first. And yes, I want to be free from this. Christ even says in uh, in the Garden of Gethsemane, Father, take this chalice away from me, but let not my will be done, but thine. That's what he was, he was really living this psalm, placing his trust in the Father. And he's teaching us to do the same. As difficult as it might be, I invite you to do this today. Place your trust in the Lord and wait for him to deliver you Now I invite you to examine your conscience. Firstly, give thanks to God for all the benefits that you have received this day. Secondly, ask God for the grace to know your sins and to be rid of them. Thirdly, take an account of all the sins that you have committed during this day in thoughts, in words, and in deeds. Fourthly, ask pardon from the Lord for all the sins that you have committed. Finally, make a resolution with God's grace to amend your life. Finally, we end with the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for listening today. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Night Prayer with Father Matlack is a production of Good Catholic, the media division of The Catholic Company. For more faith-filled podcasts and videos, visit goodcatholic.com.